Hey everyone, uh, I wanted to make a video about a problem I came across the last two days uh, with Dell ID Rack 7. So I'm I'm new to Dell servers. I really primarily only deal with HP and IBM and, and really mostly just Cisco UCS. Um, so <clears throat> I got these servers for my home lab and uh, they've got ID Rack 7 Enterprise and I'm trying to get the Java console to work so that I can use the remote KVM functionality and it won't work and I'm googling like ID Rack 7 Java and there's really nothing out there that that, dis that describes this. It, it goes to ID Rack 6. So long way around I figured out and found uh, a firmware update. Apparently Dell uh, released a firmware update allowing ID Rack 7 uh, the ID Rack 7 to uh, to use an HTML uh, remote KVM. So uh, So what's happened here is I have I have two servers and this this one is a uh, this one is a an R620 but it's an OEM Symantec and this firmware update actually worked for both of these even though with this with with this server being OEM I couldn't go all the way up to the latest revision for the ID Rack firmware, so I, I got to I got to 2.30.30, where the actual R620 I got up to 2.65. And you see it here. Um, now I'm I'm gonna link the I'm gonna link the software in the description of of the video, but this is what you need. Uh, right here, this one, ID Rack with Lifecycle Controller Firmware EXE. Download this file. Okay. Now, this is an this is an EXE. So if your Dell server with ID Rack 7 is using uh, Windows operating system, you're good to go. That'll run. If you're not, you're also good to go because the ID Rack interface actually allows you to use these exe files it will extract them and do what it's got to do so update and roll back go to update you know pick your pick your firmware file and uh, it'll download it and then you can choose to install it and then it'll go through and reboot and everything and then once you get back you will have html5 as an option for your plugin type and I, I gotta tell you I tried for probably two or three hours to make the Java interface work and I could not get it to work. It would not work. Um, I tried the fixes they used that they said to use for ID Rack 6. Um, nothing. So this is your option. Like if, you, if you're running ID Rack 7 and you haven't had remote KVM because it won't work, it won't work. This, I think, is your only option. The only thing I saw was that you could use an older version of Java, but that version is no longer available from Java unless you have some kind of special account with them you can log into and, and get it from. So th that option is really off the table for anybody that wants to run modern stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Uh, ID Rack 7, no Java. HTML5. This is the plugin you'll need, well, the firmware you'll need. And once you have this, this works for both. So once you have this, if you've got a regular Dell R620, you should be able to go right on up to the latest firmware, which is this one. I'll include this one in the description as well. But um, those are those are your steps to do it. And um, yeah, that's it. So uh, thanks for watching.